Welcome back guys, my name is Bobby and we're back with another brutally honest car review and a 1977 El Camino. So if you're like myself, you likely wonder what does El Camino actually mean? El Camino is actually Spanish for the road. But if you ask me, and pardon my Spanish, I think they should have called this car the El Transgenero. You can Google that if you want to. This car comes standard with two piston brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. But honestly, you'd probably be better off shoving your feet through the rusted floor pan and stopping it that way. This El Camino is equipped with a Chevy small block V8 and it gets an EPA estimated not shit for gas mileage. This thing comes stock with a three speed automatic transmission that will propel you from zero to 60 miles an hour faster than you can beat your wife and drink a tall boy. The interior isn't anything special. It has a giant bench seat, air conditioning that never works, and a clock that apparently is a fucking sundial because it doesn't have any hands on it. And the money shot of this car has to be the truck bed. Even though this car can get more middle-aged pussy than you've ever seen, you're not a winner every night and you can always throw fat bitches in the back. This is about as American as it gets. You wouldn't be caught dead in one of these things back in the 1970s without a mullet, jean shorts, and a cut-off Def Leppard t-shirt. If you drive this car, you go into a gas station, grab a Diet Pepsi, ask for a pack of Pall Malls, and tell the gas station attendant to put five bucks on pump three. This car isn't just a car, it's a lifestyle. When you own this car, you eat shit and breathe. Miller High Life and $30 hotel rooms with $10 hookers. I saw an El Camino one day and I asked its owner, do you like that car? And he looked me dead in the eyes and said, does Dolly Parton sleep on her back? Now believe it or not, this does have a working stereo, but it only has two working speakers. But that's all you need when you're on welfare and you're air strumming your guitar, sitting in traffic, waiting to go down to the local carry out and grab some scratch off tickets. Now, if you actually own one of these cars, there's a 0% chance that you're going to be in a hurry to get, like, anywhere. But just for video's sake, let's see what she can do. All right, let's floor it, boys. Oh, it's matted. The American muscle, son. Woo! And 60. So good news for people who owns these. You'll be sober before you get to highway speeds. So I just got to thinking, there's a lot of kids who grow up in these cars with their dad beating them, and then this car was passed on to them whenever they beat their son. It's a true American tradition. As far as handling goes, this car doesn't really do that. Um, if I had to compare it to something, I compare it to riding Rosie O'Donnell down a chocolate pudding slip and slide. Since we've started this review, we've used like a quarter tank of gas. So if someone hops out of one of these cars and tries to sell you their food stamps, don't be surprised. I think it's time to crank off some tunes, boys. Oh, oh my, my exes, exes have infections. And that's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. To sum it all up, if you get marijuana shipped to your house and fold your coffee cans from Colorado, this is the car for you. But that's all I have for this one. I'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah.